Using authentic and real stories these days is becoming very important for employers in order to advertise themselves that they are the best employer of the choice, they have all these activities, they have this great culture, so that uh, job seekers will apply to their jobs and not to the competitor. So in your experience, what tips you have for employers in terms of creating great employer storytelling so that they can become a target talent for job seekers? So I think for organizations, first and foremost, it's not about what you want to tell the market first. Once again, similar to personal branding, you've got to start looking inwards first, right? Which is what I usually say is more like an inside, inside out branding approach. Mm -hmm. What do I mean? It's basically you have to understand and talk to your employees. I mean, they are the best resource for you to understand what do they think, what your company actually offers rather than what you think you are offering. So, for example, when I do focus groups at organizations in terms of the employees, the managers, the leaders, that's where you get a lot of very interesting insights, you know, interesting stories and accounts, for instance, to say, okay, so for example, do you think that the company core value resonates with you? Sometimes they say, actually, it doesn't resonate with me, right? It's only a, a character or word on the wall and don't quite believe in it, for instance. So, you want to understand what truly resonates with your employees first mm -hmm. and then see what can you actually build in terms of your employee value proposition and EVP in short, then sell to organizations or rather candidates outside. And why stories is because very often you realize that many corporations, whether it's videos, content or whatever it is on a corporate website, it's really corporate that we call it, right? And when it's really corporate, it seems a little bit less authentic. And because when it's less authentic, candidates don't really resonate or relate to it. So that's a big problem in the market at this moment in terms of employee branding where it becomes too mechanic, it becomes like I have to do it and that's why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to understand employees' point of view first and actually using their stories, you know, the real accounts that's relatable to not just the leadership level but 80% of population, the working level in fact, which is what you're hiring typically, yeah. that's where the win happens because people resonate with it and you actually attract the best fit candidate, not just the best candidate. Candidates that truly believe in your culture, that can fit into your culture mm -hmm. because of the stories they've heard, because of the value system, the culture that they want to be in. So that's something that's really important from an employer branding point of view. Yeah. And I also been seeing lately that a lot of recruiters are using their phones in order to advertise uh, jobs, that's saying that uh, this is your office, this is your supervisor, he's looking for these three things, this is the kitchen, we do Good Fridays, you know, or things like that. And I feel that, as you mentioned, uh, having the, the inside people telling the story of the company from inside and not from corporate, I feel that that would be very authentic and very real and reachable to all levels across the, the globe. Yeah, definitely. So I think increasingly, even for myself, when I do a hiring, when I do a, go through a hiring process, mm -hmm. what I do is I like actually to do a video job description, a video JD. Mm -hmm. I, because first and foremost, increasingly see the market, right? It's part of employee branding, definitely. But also, you want the candidates to see who the hiring manager is, yeah. right? Whether they like the vibe, whether they're seeing, the, seeing and hearing the right thing for that matter. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important rather than just a piece of paper that is not so engaging. Yeah. So increasingly, yes, people like to have a sneak peek of the company, you know, how the pantry look like, what my workspace look like. And because if you're able to show it in a very transparent manner, candidates then feel a sense of security. You know, they feel safe that, hey, this guy or this company has nothing to hide. It's really open and transparent. Mm -hmm. And it gives them a sense of comfort that, hey, I want to take a chance with this organization. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And again, thank you for sharing uh, your insight. And again, for the audience or listeners, if you have any other extra tips that will help employers creating their stories, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Sam.